Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're talking about Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. As the Mavericks are likely the only team in the running to sign Kyrie Irving. Let me know how down below in the comments how shocked you are to hear that Kyrie might not have any other suitors except the Dallas Mavericks. And we heard the handshake agreement report was false, that they don't have a handshake agreement for a max contract. So how much will Kyrie get? Let me hear. I think he'll get 30 million a year, or at least a three to four year deal between 90 to $120 million, maybe I'll get 40 million a year. So either 120 three year deal or 164 year, something along those lines. And this is all coming from a report from Mark Stein of the Stein line. He has the eligibility to sign Kyrie can be offered by the Mavericks a four year, 210 million. Now, the Dallas Mavericks appear to be the only bidder to sign Kyrie Irving this offseason. League sources tell Mark Stein of the Stein Line Substack. The impression is a result of the Phoenix Suns acquiring Bradley Beal and the Lakers reportedly being uninterested in signing Kyrie Irving. We have heard that the Rockets are a possible destination, though Kyrie would be their third choice behind James Harden and Fred Van Vliet. And that just shocks me because I've always liked Kyrie. I thought Kyrie's a good basketball player. He's a guy who can give you 30 points on any given night. He can drop 10 assists. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, he's a great defender. But when he's locked in playing defense, he is not a churn style on defense. He can ha hold his own against, you know, so, you know, against guys. I'm not gonna say he's gonna, he just, he isn't a, you know, a hunted threat where he's gonna be a liability on the floor 100% of the time. That's, you know, when he's locked in, he's there. He's a guy that, People seem to like playing with him. When he's available, I know that the best quality, they say, the best ability is availability. And I know Kyrie's availability has been questionable. I'm not a Kyrie hater. I like Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie's eccentric. I understand that. But he seems to be a guy that people like in the locker room. Seems to be a very down-to-earth guy who, you know, plays winning basketball, can help a team win. He's won a championship. He has played at MVP level. He's playing next to an MVP. You don't pay income tax in Dallas. You're playing with a cool owner, Mark Cuban. I just see this situation being a situation that Kyrie is comfortable in, and I don't see why he would want to leave, in my opinion, as it's currently a situation where, and where, like, I think that he likes it. He likes it. And why why would he want to change it? It's just my natural assumption. And for me, I think Kyrie wants to be somewhere where he wants to be wanted. Back when Bradley Beal signed that deal with the Wizards, part of the thing he said was, it's a nice feeling to be wanted. And in Dallas, I think he's wanted. And at this point in his career, I think that's what Kyrie wants is to be wanted and to be able to play winning basketball. And I think Dallas gives him that, whether you like it or not, or you believe it or not, I think he has that in Dallas. So for me, I think this whole situation isn't what people are making it out to seem like. And I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. Where do you think Kyrie will land and why? Because when I look at this, I, I really do believe that Kyrie has the possibility of getting paid decently well, of being able to do good things in Dallas. Dallas isn't a dumpster fire as much as you don't want to believe, as much as you might not be a fan of Luca or Mark Cuban or anything along those lines. It's not a, a situation that people make it out to be. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments.